This is Mama Fox Books, Storytime Saturdays. Today I'm coming to you from Oceanside Pier. And yes, that's the Pacific Ocean right behind me. Today we're going to be reading Look Who Lives in the Ocean. This was written and illustrated by Brooke Besseson. The ocean provides a magnificent view, miles and miles of fabulous blue, but under the surface exists so much more, a wonderful world we can't see from the shore, with history and mystery and fishes galore. Here's a fascinating fact. The ocean covers roughly 70% of the Earth's surface and holds about 97% of the planet's water supply. Some of the fish you might see in the sea seem to think school is the best place to be. As synchronized swimmers, their skill is supreme. They dash in a flash and make turns so extreme you want to yell hip hip hooray for the team. Did you know there are more than 30,000 species of fish? Most live in the ocean. That's more than all the mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians put together. A lobster works night shift from dusk until dawn, cleaning each section before she moves on. She dines on the finds and her diet's complete, but imagine enjoying the goodies she'd eat, like decaying meat. Mmm, bon appetit. Did you know lobster eggs are attached to the female's body on the outside of her shell and a mother can carry as many as 63,000 eggs for up to two years before they hatch? That's a lot of eggs. You'll never hear a more beautiful song than one from a humpback that's 50 feet long. He belts the best ballad, he croons the best tune, he plays a lagoon by the light of the moon, but when he performs, do the girl whales swoon? Here's a fun fact about whales. Whale songs can be heard more than 20 miles away and last up to 20 minutes. Singing is one way whales communicate with each other. The male is the main singer and the songs include distinct themes and melodies. The song patterns change making new songs every few years. Yet there is still much about whale songs that we don't understand. You might think that corals are sea plants or rock, but they're living creatures. They just cannot walk. They build sun-filled cities along the coastline. Of such stunning beauty in shape and design, it's hard to envision a sight more divine. The fascinating facts say, corals are animals, not plants or rocks. These invertebrates grow in beautiful shapes colors and sizes, and form huge living, multi-generational landscape structures called reefs that provide food and shelter for thousands of other aquatic animals. A giant sea turtle sports great plates of shell, and her long lanky flippers propel her quite well. She goes up and takes in a big breath of air, then slowly descends on her way to somewhere. Hats off to this sea diver extraordinaire. Sea turtles are air-breathing reptiles and must swim to the surface regularly to breathe, but they can stay submerged for up to an hour. Very few predators can bite through the shell of an adult sea turtle, but sea turtles cannot draw their arms and legs into their shells like land turtles can. This gull is on the lookout. He's ready to act. In fact, his fine timing is very exact. He's like search and rescue, except all he saves are tidbits to eat from the beaches and waves. Leftover morsels and fish are his faves. Did you know a gull defends itself by making loud, harsh calls? It also spreads its wings on the ground to appear bigger to potential predators. Late in the evening as darkness sets in, it's time for the nightlight parade to begin. Sea jelly floats are the best in the show. Drifting on currents, they shimmer and glow with long stinging tentacles trailing below. A jelly's composition contains more than 95% water and has no skeleton, 
gills, heart, blood, or brain. It does, however, have cells that provide senses of taste and smell. With thousands of teeth that are lined up in aisles, her choppers are whoppers, so Shark always smiles. Just think of her dentist, his horror, his fright, to try to keep all of those pearly whites bright. I'll bet he's quite careful to do things just right. Did you know a shark will grow new teeth continually throughout its life and may have 3,000 at one time? Teeth in outer rows are the largest and most used, but when these become damaged or lost, teeth from the inner rows move outward. With daring and skill, watch the sea star ascend using hundreds of legs and five arms that bend. He hangs on sharp coral and scales terrain that no one would climb if they had half a brain. You wonder if he's acting brave or insane. The sea star has hundreds of tiny tube feet on its underside that are used for walking, grasping prey, and moving food to its mouth. At the gateway, where a river meets bay, a manatee's birthday comes early in May. Could she be the mermaid from which legend grew, enchanting young men on the ships passing through and carried away in the dreams of each crew? Manatees are now extremely endangered. Small isolated populations live where certain warm rivers meet and mix with ocean water in parts of Florida, the Caribbean, Central America, and West Africa. Many of the creatures are killed by collisions with power boats. Ahoy! It's the swordfish with his mighty snout. It's like a long blade that he slashes about. At staggering speeds when he's skimming outright, his sleek, shiny skin looks like tin in the light. With thick muscles flexing, he's really a sight. Did you know an adult swordfish has no teeth, but its long, sharp upper snout, over one-third of its total body length, is so powerful it can pierce two inches of solid wood? Over the floor, Doris glides with such grace. On beauty alone, she'd be voted first place. She wears brilliant colors that boost her appeal, and yet no one dares take her out for a meal, because one little bite could become an ordeal. The fascinating facts say, many Dorids are brilliantly colored and bizarrely shaped. Some are bright and showy to warn predators that they taste bad or are poisonous. Others use color for camouflage to help them blend in with their surroundings. Among the long grasses that sway in the tide, a seahorse has babies he carried inside. Yes, you read correctly, believe it or not, with this fish, the father delivers each tot, and there can be hundreds. Poor dad, that's a lot. Yep, it's a fact. In seahorses, it is the male that gets pregnant. A female seahorse produces eggs and deposits them into the male's brooding pouch. He carries the young, about 150 to 200 babies at a time, in his pouch for two to six weeks before he gives birth, usually during a full moon. Her flat body waves like a flag in the breeze as she slips through the shadowy water with ease. If Stingray decides that she shouldn't be seen, she slides down and hides in a sandy ravine. From there, under cover, she scoops the marine. Did you know stingrays are related to sharks and have no bones, only cartilage? They are flat fish with large pectoral fins, making their bodies appear round or diamond-shaped. Some rays have thorny patches on their skin to discourage predators. One puckered gent, whose name is Moray, looks out from his window of rock every day. His breathing is shallow, his eyesight is bad. This eel's got zeal, but only a tad. Still, some say he's creepy. It's break my heart sad. An eel's gills are too small to absorb enough oxygen, so they open and close their mouths to pump more water over their gills. If you need a lifeguard that's able and strong, you may pray a dolphin comes zipping along. She's smart and her talent for surfing is great. Plus, she uses sonar to echolocate, a trait that makes her navigation first rate. 
The dolphin's brain is large and complex. They are extremely smart and even have been seen using fish bones as tools to pry other fish out of crevices. Dolphins communicate with clicks and whistles and can give instructions to other dolphins. Each dolphin has a unique whistle that it uses to identify itself. It's always a treat when you meet a clownfish. His circus begins with a wiggly swish. He has several tricks, but the best one for sure is the way his anemone keeps him secure. There would be risks for a poor amateur. Clownfish are named for their bright and distinctive orange, black, and white coloring and their visually silly behavior of scooting in and out of their protective homes. Sea lions can be an unruly crowd, pushing each other and barking out loud. But once in the water, they're playful indeed, agile athletes known for their speed, darting through forests of rich green seaweed. Unlike seals, sea lions have external ear flaps. On land, sea lions use their long, broad front flippers to hold an upright posture. Because their hip joints allow rotation, they travel with walking movements. Seals have only ear holes, lie flat on land, and have to lunge forward like caterpillars. From high in the sky, he begins to pitch down, then pelican dives like a stuntman of brown. He plunges straight into the ocean below, Thank goodness for airbags, which soften the blow. Then he scoops up his catch. Wow, this guy's a pro. A pelican has large webbed feet and a broad body. Its wingspan can reach more than seven feet. It also has a long bill with a tremendous lower pouch, which can hold three gallons. Its stomach can only hold one gallon. Down where it's dark, like the pitch black of night, an angler fish dangles her small lure of light. She knows that her dinner just cannot resist, and when it comes closer, well, you get the gist. How cool that these deep water creatures exist. Here's a fascinating fact. Usually found in the Atlantic and Southern Oceans, deep sea angler fish live in the deepest waters, called the aphotic, or midnight zone, where it is entirely dark. The water pressure is severe and the temperature is nearly freezing. 90% of the ocean is in the midnight zone, although few animals can live there. An octopus mind is as sharp as a tack. He's ever so clever, a real brainiac, and he can change colors from brown hues to pink. But if danger's close and there's no time to think, he squirts out dark ink and is gone in a blink. This fun fact says, when startled or in danger, an octopus can squirt a harmless dark liquid from its ink gland to confuse would-be predators while the octopus makes its escape. It can also change color for camouflage. So next time you gaze across the ocean so broad, you'll know the flat surface is just a facade. Under a wonderland anciently old is brimming with beautiful life to behold. Places and faces more precious than gold. I hope you enjoyed the story of Look Who Lives in the Ocean, written and illustrated by Brooke Vesseson, and that you'll check out the fun facts on every page. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.